To identify which elements are vital for plants, it is necessary to know the elements and the proportions in which they are present. The primary constituents of dry matter include cellular polysaccharides, lignin, protein, lipids, amino acids, organic acid, and some elements, such as potassium, that are not essential components of any compound. The primary elements in dry shoot maize are oxygen and carbon, with oxygen making up 44%, the same as in carbohydrates. Nitrogen is found in lower concentrations, followed by other elements in lower concentrations. Aluminium, silicon, oxygen and iron are not essential. They are not readily soluble in soil water. Roots exhibit considerable variability in the rates at which they are absorbed so their concentration is also variable. Classified as macro and micronutrients. Macronutrients, nitrogen, phosphorus, potassium, calcium, sulfur, and magnesium are known as macronutrients, required in comparatively larger amounts for the overall development of plants. Micronutrients, iron, zinc, copper, boron, manganese molybdenum, chloride, and others are the micronutrients required in a smaller quantity for growth and other vital activities. Most of the symptoms are expressed on the shoots as they are most seen. Studies on roots are not available as plants have to be uprooted for studies of roots. Symptoms depend on factors such as 1. They vary as per species 2. Severity of problems 3. Stage of growth 4. Complexity resulting from deficiency of two elements 5. Are the function of the element 6. Whether or not the element is translocated from old leaves to the young plant parts Depends on the mobility and solubility of the chemical in the phloem. Certain elements travel faster when compared to others, for example. The movement of nitrogen, phosphorus, potassium, sulfur, calcium, magnesium, and chlorine is faster while that of zinc, manganese, and molybdenum are at intermediate rates. This also depends on element deficiency in the younger leaves. The young part of the plant withdraws mobile nutrients from older parts, reproductive organs, flowers, and seeds for their existence. Nutrient deficiency symptoms and function of some essential elements Symptoms of element deficiency in plants are exhibited depending on the role it plays in plants. It is expressed by some physical characteristics which are visible to human eyes. Symptoms of nickel deficiency cause tips of younger leaves to turn brown and die off. General yellowing of foliage, beginning with older leaves. Role of nickel in plants. They work as a cofactor to enable ureas to catalyze the conversion of urea into the ammonium ion which plants can use as a source of nitrogen. Without the presence of nickel, urea conversion is not possible. Nickel accumulates in plant organs or tissues, such as leaves. Symptoms of chlorine deficiency in plants are chlorotic leaves, leaf spots, brown edges, restricted and highly branched root system, wilting of leaves at margins and leaf mottling. Chlorine is responsible for osmotic and stomatal regulation, liberation of oxygen in photosynthesis, and disease resistance and tolerance. Watch the video on Plant Disease and Nutrient Deficiency Symptoms, also the shots on Individual Elements and their role in the playlist. Mm -hmm.